24. Stand by Nicoletta, please. Episode 24 and Nicoletta, go. Hello, welcome back. Uh, traditional clarins now, doing it. I hope you've all got it. I hope you've got a tester. Well, you might not be able to get it until Debenhams, Debenhams as it collapses, does tester pots. There we go, beautiful. Um, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's one, even though, again, as I say, it was a bit rubbish, but then they've all been, every single one's been a bit rubbish. Um, right, well, I'm going to start off with hoping you're all really well. I'd like to welcome Ophir. Ophir has become a new subscriber. Chris Hill yesterday, Ophir. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to this. Uh, let's see how long you last, see if you like it or just think uh, I need to be on tablets. Um, right, now... You might be thinking, what are these that I've been looking at? Mm, I need to go that way. Okay, so Claire, who has the pearly nipple tassels, you know, Beckenham talks like that. She's, you know, really South London. This is her mum, and this is her mum's trolley. And she's an official, the only thing is Claire, look, I printed that out for your mum. But it went on to two pages, so <laughs> there's your mum's legs. Oh, I haven't really done it. Anyway, that's your mum's legs with her two boyfriends. Um, and that's her mum dressed up. What's she doing there? She's like with Queen Victoria and stuff. Uh, this is all going on in South London around you, okay? And then this is her trolley. I've been given permission to, to show you these. I haven't just taken off the internet. Um, that's the trolley. I can't explain that. Um, but there's a lot of pride involved. And it looks like some sort of knitted I think it's a person it looks like Punch and Judy it's very knitted um, anyway I just had to show you that because I think these photos top anything that I mean this bad boy looks really crap now doesn't he um, but yeah look at that that that's astounding so this is because I mean they're not this is the official pearly Queen here and Claire nipple tassels can only aspire to be like her mum. So I'm going to leave those there casually because they're just too good. So every time you want to zoom in, there we go. Um, so thank you for those, Claire. And I, I have to say that um, I'm glad because now, because um, Claire's pearly nipple tassels were getting in the way of the dishwasher every time she took out a load, she was getting caught and being dragged up with the cutlery rack and stuff. Um, but her husband has uh, made her a couple of protectors so that. The actual tassels don't get caught and you know all that thing uh so that's really sweet and very loving and um, but i'm glad that you messaged that to me because i was worried i was worried that you're going to get in with the uh, rinse aid and stuff um so that's good so we've welcomed her fear we've welcomed claire's official pearly queen mum in various outfits and the trolley i think hopefully i'll get an email of what goes in the trolley because if you're like me i am I'm finding it astounding, yeah. So uh, I'm just going to check this is working because there's nothing worse, is there, than wasting my time and yours uh, by this. Is the camera still rolling? Yeah, beautiful. Uh, good. Right, they're on. Um, unbelievably. Okay, now look. So I'm starting these piles, and as you say, fiance's own Devon rang me to say, nice work. The greenery, the yellow, the words, the black and white, and the windows. She likes my plans, right? She likes how it's coming on, okay? But I've become, a I've become aware that you see, you see this black and white bit down here, it's, it's slowly coming on, yeah? But I've become aware that it doesn't all work unless you've got all, you need all the pieces out, don't you? You need all of the pieces. And I've only got half of the pieces. So I am sort of laughing, but also showing you this. Sorry if, the, if it wobbles, but. Right, so this is, well, this has just got some out. There we go. I know, I, I know that I did that. And I now know that there are certain people, control freak friends of mine, plus everybody with OCD, that has blown your mind and you're screaming, no, you can't do anything about it, can you? So I'm here, I'm quarantined, you can't come over. And, but look, I just suddenly thought I can't finish bits unless it's all, sorry Claire's mum, uh, I can't finish bits, can I? Till it's all out. I'm already, actually Claire's mum and her big skirt's getting in the way of there. Um, 
I need it all out, don't I? Oh, edge piece, edge piece, edge piece. Hold on. Edge piece, edge piece, missing edge piece. Right, beautiful. So I'm glad I did it. I'm really glad I did it because I've proven my point. In medium up. In medium up. Now this obviously is stressful for some people. This whole plan. Well, it wasn't a plan, was it? You saw how it went. It just went bleh. I just thought about it. I thought, I can't join all these bits. They need to come out. I'm good. Claire's mother. I'm going to have to move around. See, there's a little red pile here building up. All the reds. All these. I'm going to show you the box. Because those people, because there are people jumping around. Somebody might join. This is... Oh. This is... Oh. <laughs> This is what we're doing together. You are part of it. You are my life. You are my jig jaw crew, right? And um, when we open up, eventually, you're coming in and doing this. And I did think about it, and I was thinking, if there are any missing bits that have been caught on a whippet or taken out by my shoes or something, you know, some clerical error that's gone wrong with this, right? Oh, sorry, Zoe. Um, bit of a lob. I absolutely am aware that I'm going to buy the jigsaw again and fill up the missing bits in because what I can't handle. Here's Bethany. Hello. What I have? I've oh, just you, you took out the other box. I did it because Beth, I became aware. I became aware that this was futile. Now, what we mustn't do is wobble the table because that is leaning right against there. Okay. It wobbles the camera. So when you're not only, <laughs> not only have we got five thousand pieces of joy to work out, you also can't lean on the table. Uh, it's doing my core muscles the world good, Beth, I have to tell you. <laughs> and Helen from Wales did message me the other day and said, why, early doors, were you so diligently sorting the pieces out only to tuck, chuck them into a casserole dish? Well, I was just getting the edge pieces, wasn't I? But now, now I'm, I'm not doing that now. <laughs> oh, yeah, mind that old Corona bucket. It's actually called a Corona bucket. Look, how funny. You're not even doing a Look. garage brand. No, I'm not. I'm doing it straight from this mic. Corona, how funny is that? Uh, right, okay. Uh, can you explain to me who these Right, so this, yeah, just quickly come in. This is Claire. You know Pearly Queen Claire, or Dipple Tassel, Claire? Jared Claire? Yes. Yeah, this is her mum, dressed up. Uh, they love dressing up. Claire's addicted to it. Um, it's catching. This is her mum as a Pearly Queen with her boyfriends, and uh, that's the trolley which we're going to get ex explanations about, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I have to move them around a bit because they're in the way a bit. So... Beth, again, light green, dark green. You're very good with the brickwork. All the other colour brickwork around the edges, just lay them out, lay the brickwork into colours. Okay. Windows, black and white. Right, we'll get there. What does this hair thing look like on me, Mum? Very pleasing. Okay, so let's crack on. Sorry. Don't say sorry, I think it's important that when we're looking at your hands only that I, I do a hair review. Uh, I don't think Dwayne's gonna like this new image we've got do you, Beth? Because uh, he quite liked the cleavage shot, but we've got a bit tied to around the table now, so this is going to wind him right up. Uh, also, camera. I don't really want to show my cleavage on camera. Don't you? No. Hmm. Okay, so <coughs> tip the other box out. Um, right, uh, Nanny uh, Bottle Bank news. Yep, she's going up tomorrow. She messed it. Well, I spoke to her today. We went through another. We went through a social isolate. What's it called? No, a socially distanced walk. Um, over the woods today, which was heaven, and she said she's going to the bottle bank tomorrow. And I can't. I said no one's going to be able to believe the speed of the weeks that are flying, and uh, because the amount of bottle banking, you know, you, you, you just think your life is all whizzing before us, isn't it? She's going back again, and I said, how many have you got? And she said seven. She's got seven, seven jars of random things. Right, be careful of the wobble. Right, just be careful of the wobble. I am. I'm trying to. Uh, because people are stressed enough. Uh, with the fish eye, I mean, Darren, Darren Fringe, no French. He was early on, he found the fish, he found the casserole dish, the casserole dish and the um, fish eye. He found that difficult to live with, but it's gone now. Uh, we're seeing if this works and we're seeing if this mic works. Um, right, what other news? A few people messaged me to say they would like, I talked the other day where mum went to the hospital secretly without telling us um, and she had to have a bit of a checkup. Well, a bit of an examination. And I related a story of when we'd gone before and as a hilarious joke to the consultant when he said, would you like a picture of your cervix? I asked him, could I have a picture, I could have the DVD of my mum's, right? 
that was a general thing. I thought so. And yet I have had messages asking uh, from a few people saying they also would like the DVD uh, of Mum's cervix. Sadly, that wasn't well, a joke. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't either. Uh, but sadly, I, I don't have to break to you, that was a joke. Um, and also, you know, the outtakes, can you imagine? The, oh, well, you say Beth, the other one, the bloopers. Imagine. Um, so no, that's not available. Um, she did say today as we walked, because mum was dragging her leg a bit. Um, oh, she bit said she's, guess what I found while you were just out? What? I found an edge bit. Where? I've joined it. Oh, Great. Right, you know this part is my corner. I know, but I found you went in. You went in. Greenery, but I think some of the dark green also goes over there, just to blow your mind. But we'll just separate it for the moment. Um, yeah, so she says she's still smarting from being in the stirrups. I mean, that is like, well, I suppose it's less than a week. But uh, hopefully she'll recover very soon. Um, I'm going to ask permission of yet more Australians that I know, because there is a brilliant... It's not a story, it's a, it's a true thing, uh, but I won't, I'm going to get permission first um, because it's a great anecdote, I suppose, about a couple who are having a baby. Uh, they're Australian and uh, had a great birth plan. And birth plans make me laugh because basically, as long as that, you know, the, the whole concept of a human coming out of there is an entire design flaw in my eyes. Um, and why anybody Ooh. would other just go, I'm having the drugs. There's another person. Thank you. And see if that goes, see the house up there. Or oh, try not to wobble. But see up there, Beth. Can I move this? Move what? That bucket of something. Yes. Yeah. What is that? Oh, it's pond paint. Pond paint. <laughs> yeah, move the pond paint. Like we need the pond paint. It's very glamorous, this, isn't it? Um, right. Anyway, so this? I'm going to see. Was, I wonder you... if it goes up by that house somewhere. Not. Uh, no, no, it's not an edge bit, is it? Just leave it up there. It just looks like those colours to me. Um, anyway, so I'm going to find that permission because even the word doula just makes me laugh. Because I like that name. A doula. Oh, yeah. oh um, it's a doula. A doula is a, no, a doula is a birthing partner. Oh. But these people tend to eat, uh, well, probably more sourdough than we do. But we'll, I'll come back to that. I'll, I'll get permission, and with permission, I'll be able to read out the birth. <coughs> Bless you, it's this room. It is this room. Well, it's a bit better at the moment for me. I don't know why. Um, well, I think it's because also I've got hay fever. Yesterday, when I was walking the dog, talking about pregnancy and stuff, when I was walking the whippets, a pregnant couple walked past me. She was ready to go, like pop. Um, and I shouted, Good luck, do the drugs. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm so. Like, I wouldn't have my tooth out without drugs, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't go in and go, Oh, look. Tell you what, take take the tooth out, see how I go. Right, no anaesthetic. Uh, uh, I just don't think many people would, okay? So the thought of having a human being coming out of my out of my mythy is is unacceptable. So I just shouted randomly to a stranger, do the drugs! And she went, thanks! Uh, hopefully, hopefully she'll do that. Please, because I think you may have the lid. I think this goes somewhere. Coming at you. Um so right fiance zoe who i mentioned she gave me some high praise indeed she said my she likes my system that's coming even though she will absolutely be messaging me about this right i've got no doubt that she will be losing her mind watching this situation but i'm i'm, I'm pleased with it i'm going with it um she sent me a video yesterday because she knows i love birds and uh well she has a big problem with uh wood pigeons but i, I think she likes other birds um, she sent me a, pic, a, pic, a video of a crow down in Devon where she lives, tapping on her window trying to get in. Like quite, like, let me in, let me in. Let we me had a pigeon up. fly into our house, didn't yeah, we, actually, yesterday? Actually, you are correct, Bethany. We had... A pigeon. Who was at the door? Na your mum. Nanny was at the door. Yeah. And suddenly a pigeon, I heard this weird, oh, 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 like, screaming. Oh, thanks. What was that? A, well, you did an impression. I, I, the, a pigeon came in and I was like, Mum! Oh, well, that's much more severe. Yeah, well, well, I thought mine was kinder. I thought right. my effort was kinder. Uh, anyway, that was, um, yeah, oh, it's a coin. Oh, where's that from? A dime. Oh, an American dime. How random. Um, anyway, so, yeah, so we were 
talking to mum and then I went in and there's an enormous pigeon and my two dogs who like pigeons of their life chasing them I uh, couldn't believe their luck because it was so confused because the pigeon landed on landed on the small sofa and then the dogs were so blown away they did like a double take like dong there's the pigeon and they were it's so out of context because obviously in the house not the garden and then they realized too late and the pigeon fortunately flew straight out of the window but it was hilarious because the dogs were like there's a pigeon um and really really random we, we in the woods today we saw this whippet and, and because whippets are sonic hounds, they chase anything that moves. If you're a squirrel, a rabbit, um, or anything like that, you're, you're a goner. But, which is why we keep them on the leads in the woods. Because oh, Binky, there's two pigeons, <gasps> two and Binky's pigeons looking at them. And this whippet today we saw had no collar on, and it was just sitting really gorgeously while a couple fed the pigeons, um, and squirrels were running over it. Not, it didn't even move. So it was absolutely, I've never seen anything like it on a sonic hound, because Years ago, I was walking my older whippet, Florrie, over the downs, and there were a couple on um, a blanket. They just got engaged, right? I, I only know this because they were doing champagne, and uh, they, yeah, well, they, they told me because I was so happy with them. Anyway, I was saying congratulations to them because they just got engaged. Aww. And Florrie, behind me, unbeknownst to me, had caught a rabbit, huge rabbit, over the downs, and it was in her mouth. Uh, sorry, Claire's mum. Uh, it was in her mouth and she brought it she left it on the she basically it was alive in her mouth she got to this couple she shook it broke its neck it died instantly um and then she dropped it on their blanket and these two people are still going still cheersing so um anyway i i made <laughs> i didn't know what to say but very unusually for me i was a bit i was a bit like bemused because i was like oh dear ruined their life and Florrie picked it up and then trotted off with it and I went, oh, congratulations. But I was so, I didn't know what to say. Um, they'll never forget that engagement anyway. No, I don't think they can. They will never, like that, will. It, no. But anyway, so. And so, go like that, does it? No, I'm embarrassed for you. Oh. Um, so basically, fiance Zoe has got this very aggressive um, crow trying to get in, tapping, tapping, tapping on her window. And I think it's because she... That, that crow has an awareness that uh, Zobor's has an issue with pigeons. And the crow said, look, I've got this. I'm on it. I'll source it, right? I'll have her. So I think it's a bit like we were talking about the other day when all of the magpies attack Australians when they're on their bikes. Uh, and, and in that swooping season, whatever it's called, attack Australians. It's because they, you've upset the magpies, right? We don't have that issue. John and Pete are doffing their caps, their top hats, and saying, good day to you, Mr. Magpie. You know, all that. We're courteous. Um, but I think, I think basically the birds have sussed it. And, uh, yeah, I think, so that crow you sent me the video of, I think, in a nutshell, is after you. Uh, that goes with your... That goes over there. It's that red line, isn't it? Yeah. So... Yeah, that's good. Uh, good. Uh, so I think we sorted that. Oh, so uh, Jane from Suffolk messaged um, to say that uh, we were talking about her flagellate and how often she's getting it out now during do lockdown. Her flagellate is always out. But her husband, Kevin, has found it really hard to concentrate because uh, he's working from home. So he keeps going into the shed and stuff. Um, but he's now, she messaged me today and said they've had a big conversation about it because get her flagellate her getting the flagellate out is causing a bit of consternation uh, in Suffolk um, and so they've agreed that she will only get her flagellate out on a Tuesday because she's now got to calm it down so I think that's a nice compromise um, it allows Kev to study and work and do his Can job. Can I ask a quick question? Mm -hmm. What's a flagellate? A flagellate Bethany is like a it's like a metal uh, uh, not recorder for that, but it just it just sounds uh, rude, Beth. So by uh, me describing it, I've sort of blown the magic of the innuendo. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? But I just I, didn't know what it was. It no, was. I know. Actually, I've explained it, and yeah. So uh, hopefully, you've all got the double entendre of that. Uh, but yes, it's basically a metal. It's a metal penny oh. whistle sort of thing, really. Oh. But you won't even know what penny whistle is. I'll show you a picture when we get in. Uh, yes, and I, I do have a flagellate. Oh, edge piece. Ooh. Oh, I've got it. It's around oh. here. I've got, I've got it. 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 Like, yes. I knew this was a good plan. I knew this was a good plan. Good plans. And Beth, I don't know if you heard me say, but 
if we get to the end of this puzzle and we've got pieces Which missing, will be when? Uh, probably when you're married off and got children, right? Yeah. But what we'll do is, if there are any pieces missing, I'm going to buy this jigsaw again uh, and just fill in the pieces, the missing pieces. You didn't cause... buy this jigsaw. No, you did. But I I'm did. just saying that what I will do is I'll buy it and we will fill the missing pieces in because the thought that we get so far and it's not complete, I think we'll actually tip people over the edge. Uh, mainly me. Um, right, so the sourdough debrief. Right, all oh, careful, both it's really wobbling. So the sourdough debrief was pretty prolific um, because uh, Freddie and Matt were talking about the fact that Freddie wasn't using as much liquid in this in this loaf. That that conversation about sourdough went on. Well, I left the room in there. I was sort. I just happened to be sitting there, and it went off. Oh, so you're using less water. That's interesting. Um, and they've been, you know, researched on Google, that sort of stuff. You know, it, it was a lengthy conversation, but I know that some people have asked, particularly probably Claire's um, niece will be very interested. And as soon as lockdown is over, I think I might get them together, uh, Claire. I think it'd be nice for someone to listen. Mm. Um, Gillian, so as you know, there's a woman called Gillian, uh, a friend of ours is getting, you know, helping out. Uh, down in South London, uh, getting supplies and stuff. And so far, Gillian seems to only have asked for gin. Uh, she's asked for gin, lemon, uh, and some ice the other day. So that's been tricky to get on a scooter, but it's all happened. Now, apparently, Gillian is mainly asking for paracetamol, which really made me laugh today because I thought, actually, basically, Gillian's got so many bloody hangovers that she's now having to go, yeah, I'll have, I've got so much gin. I'm, I'm pleased with ready, Mum. Oh, we've got to go. Right, so um, is the table laid, Beth? Yes. I'm coming. Lovely. Right, so I'm going to love you and leave it. This is a quick one, it turns out. Um, but lots of love to everybody. Take it easy. And um, I've got much more many stories. I'll, I'll do two tomorrow. I'll do two tomorrow to make up the difference. Lots of love. Bye.